Hello there everyone and welcome back. This is Tosashi and today is a special day because yesterday the uh, new Mecha Death Knell came out and today I uh, managed to get my hands on it which is really nice as you can see here it has a beautiful scythe that's basically longer than itself and um, I'm having a lot of fun with this new mech. I played like four or five matches with it. And here you can see I also got the new pilot, Yaka, the pilot of Northern Knight. And both of them are pretty interesting, actually, I would say. I think, um, let me actually take a look because I'm commenting on this post uh, recording. So, one of the benefits of that is that I can actually look things up in the meantime. So, Yaka is a bit tanky similar to silver deacon where if your life total drops below oh, hold on. got that rom real quick there uh, so if your life total drops below 50 i believe uh, let me then you gain a temporary shield let me see here uh yeah that's correct so you gain a, a shield 20 hp it lasts for about four seconds with a cooldown of 100 seconds. There we go. Got some action in the beginning already. And um, the thing with that is that that's, that's all right. But Silver Deacon, I think, is also all right. Some people say it's super powerful. I think it's all right. Um, just gives you a little bit of extra HP basically but the thing is if you get headshots uh, it doesn't even trigger so then that's why I'm not really high on these kinds of uh, defensive abilities on pilots um, but what a, what's a nice twist about Yaka is that this uh, pilot also grants the shields to um, friendly pilots so here it says, when the HP of yourself or a nearby friendly pilot falls below 50 after taking damage, they will also gain a shield. And that's actually a really interesting ability, I would say. Uh, yeah, pretty unique. Uh, most pilots only care about their own stats. And this is one of those pilots that actually uh, literally protects them as well, as well as they protect you. If I understand correctly, even if, if I understand correctly, it only triggers when someone else gets low, below 50 HP. So they don't gain that shield, only you yourself. So, hmm, that's interesting. So you basically get more HP whether you yourself or someone else drops below that threshold. Um, which probably will make it trigger more often than Silver Deacons. But let's see here, as you can see, um, the new mecha has some interesting mobility there. I got with relative ease on the, uh, on the roof here by activating my combat skill and there I teleported back. So what you do, you place a beacon uh, and you dash a little bit away from your beacon like this. You transform, you start, stop slouching and kind of start hovering. Uh, your primary attack is faster. The reach of your secondary attack is bigger and the dash that it gives is also bigger. And you have a higher speed. So it's basically like a kind of like a super saiyan mode, you could say. Um, But you also leave a beacon behind. So that's the interesting thing about this new mecha. Uh, there's some similarities to Guerrilla Hand Hunter there is that you can teleport back to where you originally were. So now we leave the beacon behind us. And I, char I charge forward, attack, attack. Then I could teleport back if I want to. Uh, or I can stay here. Uh, the beacon can be attacked, by the way. So if someone destroys your beacon while you're dashing away, uh, you can't dash back anymore, and your buff stops. So that's interesting, especially in uh, in jewels. So if you see a death knight, you focus down their beacon, you actually take down their buff, 
which is um, uh, something to keep in mind. Also, when you're playing Death Knell, but also when you're playing against Death Knell. Um, let's see, I'm getting closer to the enemy. I'm trying to find them with the, uh, the boss. Oh, found you, right there. Mm -hmm. um, so the beacon gives you buff. It gives you a location where you can teleport back to if you do that. If you press the combat skill within the same, uh, uh, within the time limit. Uh, and as you can see, the secondary weapon is a melee attack similar to uh, Arthur or uh, Neutron Star. Um, but the difference here, it's more likely, uh, more like Arthur actually, because it also dashes you a little bit to a certain direction, but it's a longer range. And the difference is you can dash in all directions. It's omnidirectional, which allows me to get on those rooftops with so much ease. Um, and the cooldown is really short. So I'm thinking of uh, really decreasing the cooldown as much as I can in the build of the mecha. And focusing it all on that secondary weapon because it does so much damage and it's at the same time a good source of mobility so the secondary weapon here is way more a source of mobility than the combat skill i would say but you can combine them of course now let's see if I, oh i failed to uh, get out of the mecha there um take a look here oh there there you are and goodbye you can go home. Not bad. Mm -hmm. That is some nice loot you're dropping there, but I will take the flamethrower instead of the gun shield. Like so. Then having the hydro missile uh, for my anti mecha weaponry. Let's go like that indeed. Um, uh, but I didn't mention all the abilities yet because mecha, this mecha has quite some things going on when you transform basically when you use your combat skill you get here you see you get 1500 temporary hit points so if those get taken down while you're in this execution mode you basically automatically teleport back to your original so you basically when you do that activate that mode we have a buffer of 1500 hp and that's very unique so that even though it's a pretty squishy map, mecha, oh, there's another one. I think, I think this uh, death now got me, got me good here. And I missed, missed my uh, melee attack there. So let's see if I can take them down. Oh, they're going for the loot, and I managed to capitalize on that. Follow them real quick. Oh, and on my tail. Let's keep moving here. And chase after this um, this pilot there. It's a night hawk. I'm all right. Keep moving. Uh, recharge in the meantime, and they're hiding behind a tree there. Yeah, there we go. And they're fighting, they're attacking the Ventura's. But I will focus on this pilot real quick. There, the shield triggered as you can see. Definitely helped out, especially against the night hawk that has some uh, built-in regeneration. Okay, here we're back into Death Knell. So Death Knell by in the base is pretty squishy, similar to Skylark. Also has similar mobility to Skylark, I would say in a way. Uh, but I would say it's better. Better mobility than Skylark because the secondary weapon is an omnidirectional um, dash with a very short cooldown. So you can combine it. Similar to um, uh, the dragon mode of Ventorus. No that kind of dash, basically. Nothing there we go. In the way of peace. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the shield, to compensate that extra uh, buffer of HP that this mecha grants when you're in your ex execution mode, um, you do have a very tiny shield, as you can see here. Like, I don't know, that's not even, like, maybe a hundred. 
I do think that's fair. There is no winner. Okay, I think I need to keep moving here, because I'm under a lot of fire. Okay, I managed to take that one down, <clears throat> but still I'm pretty low here. What I like is that in this mode, it's kind of like slouching and still running pretty fast, but not really running, more like fast walking. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to take down this pilot, but I'm <laughs> kind of panicking a little bit because my HP dropped to 7 there, as you saw. Um, I, I think I should move away from here because... Oh, I think I decided to stop moving to not make sound, which, uh, which also makes sense. Oh, someone at the right for me. Skylark. And there I activate the uh, special just to... I think I should have stayed in my execution mode there. Like I said, this was like the fourth or the fifth game I played as Death Knell, so I'm definitely still making mistakes. Um, because I didn't realize that when you get out of the mode, that of course all your buffs also disappear. But luckily I do have the Hydra Missile here. And this person is dropping right in front of me. Okay, Cyrus is no match for the flamethrower here. Um, unfortunately, that was it for uh, Showcase of Death now in this match because it's already ace time. But luckily, I still got Yaka here. And Yaka is also a new pilot that I would like to showcase. So kind of two, uh, two birds with one stone, let's say. There we go, you Tom. Oh, I missed that one. Let's push. Let's push on here. Because I still got my shield and you don't. And the shield did not trigger yet, so let's heal up here. I also think Yaka's design is amazing. I think he looks amazing. Very cool. Very fitting also to Northern Knight with all the protection um, and the tankiness. Um, no, oh, not yet. There we go. And there's some more people shooting us right over there. Nice headshot. Keep moving here. Top 10, okay. It's a big car in front of my window. <laughs> That's a real big car. Just turn this motor on, it's not doing anything. Is it moving or what? It's just making a hell of a lot of sound. Um, got that one as well. to edit that sound out a little bit of course I'm limited uh, okay so there's only one more remaining and let's see here I got the I do get the diamond flamethrower here so there we go I don't think uh, I don't think this Arthur Expected me to do so much damage. Where did you go, though? Where did you go? There, on the water. Okay, missed, but I have his board, and you don't. So I think this is game over for you, buddy. There you go. Rum bum five six one. GG. All right, so hopefully uh, you learned something about the new mech and the new pilot. I'm definitely enjoying both of them, and you will be seeing more Death Knell very soon. Um, very well-designed mecha, I would say. As always, have a beautiful day, and peace.